Iowa, Iowa State, State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort effort to be able to win this game on the road. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Nice run there. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. Third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 42. He's at the 40. He's hit and taken down. right for a nice game. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes seven and six. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown Longhorns. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Three to go. Ball on their own 31. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle made around the 36 yard line. The offense gets a first down here. You got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football. And try to get your own offense the ball back. That time they let their own offense down. Maybe three yards on that run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Slings it. Got some open field. To the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 10-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 11. Loss of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Up, defense. Let's go. Mike three. Mike three. Right down. Status if you fall. Let's go. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. Game seven. That brings us fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Texas is up by four. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Man open, incomplete. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. On the return, and he fumbles the ball. Recovered by the defense. The Longhorns are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. With the pass incomplete. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. And he is drilled at the 15. Following a loss of eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. So the sack makes this hey, third and there. very long. Four down, four down. Mike three. Mike three. Here go. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Throws this one away. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. From the 15, room around the corner. He makes it to the 32-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. All jet. All day, Texas day. holds a four-point lead. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Number 10 with the tackle at the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Don't 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 35. Reception. Call it a gain of 15 yards. First down. 52 is the mic. Roger, Roger. Watch 14, watch 14. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. They hand it off again. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. That's a D. That brings up second and one. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, two. Yelling. Here he goes. And they make the stop around the 14 yard line. Call it a game of 12 yards. First down. No, no, no. Check that. Check that. We're going to like 52 right here. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Tackle at the 13. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-3, Longhorn. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Texas is up four. Go four! They'll bring him down at about the 11. Fires quickly and they got it, touchdown. play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down the 39-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Mike three, Mike three. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll drop in for a loss. Number 23, he takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 38-yard line. Third down. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 28. That's a loss of 10 on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's under some heat. Brought 
down in the open field. That's good for him. He's got 14 yards. First down. He's on the run. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 36. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. And he throws right away. And it falls incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Fires out to his receiver. That's a great tackle. It's the 36-yard line. State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down and six. Ball on their own 40. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. They'll get him in the backfield. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Longhorns are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. He's under pressure. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. Makes it second and two. They'll get him for a loss.
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. to his receiver in a hurry. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Red seven, red seven. Hit. There's a laser across the middle. And he hits him hard at the 47. Kill, kill. That's good for a game. Red two. First down. Go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 17-3, Texas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 26. tackled at about the 49. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. hit immediately. Gives it right side. He fights forward to about the 33. at the 20, and they push him out around the 17-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 17. Bring up 
an injury. Take the defense on that one. And he hits the PAT. So a 10 play, 76 yard drive, and they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big one. Runs. So the score now, 17 10. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Watch the pass. Texas, up seven points. Goes left and tackled in a hurry. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First and ten. Mike 52, Mike 52. Steps up in the pocket. He's at midfield. Caught by the sophomore. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. after a decent run up the gut. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. Makes it out to about the 30. He steps out around the 24-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it second and three. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets out to around the 12. Gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And he's taken down at the three. Texas is up by a touchdown. Tackled for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. This is the 10th play of this drive. They go with the run. Breaks one and scores. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10 play, 75 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 24-10. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line.
takes it out to about the 23. taken down immediately. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. Throws it away. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and they tack on three points. Iowa State ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at the 39-yard line. That's good for the 14 yards. First down. Here we go, here we go. Fires out to his wide out. And he's level at the 43. That's a deep four on one way. That makes it second and six. Check, check. Caught with room to work. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 48. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 24 13, Texas. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Pitch and choose the mic. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Gains his way to the 40 yard line. That makes it second and two. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. That's a game man, left, man, left. Play. That makes it first and ten. Down. My fifth and two. Red two. Motion, motion. Red seven, red seven. Check. Motion, 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 motion. Red, red, red. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. That's a game of 14 yards. First down. Down. Red 52. Watch 52. Red kill, two. kill. He's taken down right around the six yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Three down, three down. Check, check. Two. Dancer, dancer. Breaks the tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. 
just about ready to call a first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. He's hit and taken down. Out of bounds, right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. There's a strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49 yard line. Tackled at the 34-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it second and six. You'll never know what kind of effect this could have on him, but you can be sure they'll go to him again. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 39. From their own 39-yard line, second down, just under three to go in regulation. chance inside the 30 and they tackle him at the 26 listen he's not just fast he's also a smart runner he knows how to follow blocks and he knows when to accelerate that's what differentiates skill from talent so we've got a first down after a great running play Gets out to around the 15. Black five, black five, green eight. Nine. The halfback with a carry. And he shoved out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Well, here's the time when you want to work the clock. He should have tried harder there to stay in bounds. Second down and 11. Ball on the 15. Go four. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. it to the back. Nice run, and he's brought down. Coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are 
are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.